Hello viewers, hello YouTube. I am Anu Steven Boima. Thank you all for watching this video because it's gonna be interesting, I promise you. What I want us to talk about today is how you can manage finance or how to save finance. How you can start, you can just start practicing finance, how to save your money. My topic that I prepared for you is going to talk about how to be financially stable. So quickly let's just run through this. One of the way you can start a practice because let's see, finance definitely it's a principle of saving. Now, you if you don't build that principle to save part of your finance, you can never get into it. So we're going to talk about what is finance, what is saving, and what is expense or expenditure. Now, finance simply or income is the money that you get, and expenditure or expense is the money that you spend out of your income. Now, saving is that part of your income which is not spent at all, which you keep. So. We don't want to be somebody who like you live on the check paycheck, just like check to check. Whenever money is in, goes out. No, you don't want to be that somebody. But you want to be somebody who is really responsible and you care about your money, and you want to see yourself plan for the future. Yeah. So quickly, let's go on to what I just made or prepared for you on how to be financially stable firstly we talk about our number one delay your gratification how do you delay your gratification um this is like whenever you see something on the street and you want to buy it ask yourself do i really need the stuff what do i need it for can't it wait answer this question and look into it see the reason for you getting that stuff and what use is it going to be to you or what is it going to make out of it or can it wait or not okay so secondly avoid spending unnecessarily like you have money and then you're always spending it you don't care you just buy stuff do whatever you want to do avoid spending unnecessarily make sure you need that stuff before you get it third prioritize your spending now this is very important make sure you have a scale of preference prepare a list of wants in order of priority show that this is the most pressing one should be satisfied first before the other or the least pressing one when you do this, you'll be able to manage your finance. Always go in for the most places you want and don't just go ahead spending money like that. The other point is pass your test. I mean, pass your, your spending test. How do you do that? It's basically the question of you asking yourself, do I need this? How important is this to me? Can't it wait at all? Answer these questions. And if you pass these questions, I mean, this is a test, it's a financial test of saving. Once you pass this, once you're able to answer this question, it means you can pass your spending test. And once you spend, you, you pass the spending test, it means, yes, you, yeah, you can determine whether, yes, you need to save this or not. The fifth point is develop a saving mindset. The Bible also speaks about this in Genesis 41 verse 34. Develop, I mean, saving is just a principle. I know it's difficult to save really. So it's just a principle. You have to determine that this is what I want to do. I want to start saving. Yeah, you can decide to save 20% of your income every month or whatever amount of money you're receiving. Um, the other point is 
think about multiplying think about multiplying your savings now yeah you develop this attitude of saving you save save now you need to think about a method of multiplying your savings how investment invest that savings so that more income will come in and you can multiply your saving you know the other point is I know most people don't do this at all they see it as being religious okay yeah I agree to that but tithing tithing is another means of investment business is full of risk every business you go to is full of, is full of risk the only business I can assure you of if you invest your money is the, the business of God the business of God once you invest in it definitely there's a surety that you get your money back so tighten learn to pay your tithes learn to pay your tithes the other point I want to talk about be wise and invest in God's house it's not only about giving your tithes but be wise and invest in God's house invest in the things of God that will definitely bring your money back, I bet you. The other point, seek for multiple stream income. Don't just sit there and depend on one means of getting income or salary, no. Try to seek multiple streams of income. This is to recover risk. If it happens you've been sat or something comes up in this other place you can definitely recover that risk if you are person that involves in the multiple streams income depending on a single stream income is a bad attitude it's a bad attitude let's try to do something go out and do something else you can be in your working office then you're doing something else differently or even an investment that's why the best choice I can give you is to invest in the house of God, invest in the things of God, which will surely bring your money back. The other point I want to say, monitor your finance regularly. Monitor your finance regularly. Monitor how you spend your money. Perhaps you might spend more this month and think of why you did that, what caused you to spend, and see if there's a way you can cut that down a bit, and this will be very good. Another point is research and prayer. Research how to get money or how to invest your money, multiple stream income, and prayer. Prayer. I know people, most people don't, they are not religious. As me, I'm religious, and that's why I'm just giving you my own experience and points that I believe works for me. And I believe if you practice the step that I'm listing right now, it's going to work for you as well, no matter what. I bet you just try the step you don't have to be religious to do this but if you can it's a good choice like I am okay the next point is make use of reading materials oh my goodness this is really good make use of reading materials read books novels articles newspaper watch TV whatever reading materials you're able to make use of use them this is very very important we've got a lot and lot of ideas in the world youtube facebook emo instagram just be connected and you can get ideas about how whatever you want to do so this is basically a great way of learning how to save income you're making use of reading materials okay <laughs> another step this is really good treat yourself you don't have to be saving always always once a while just make sure you treat yourself take some money feel good put it i mean get some dress get some nice food just once in a while yeah treat yourself you don't have to be saving and die out of starvation or hungry treat yourself okay um uh, now this is for those who are in a relationship. If you're in a relationship or you're to get into a relationship, discuss your saving with your partner. 
your saving attitude, your saving method with your partner. Perhaps this person has more ideas about saving. So discussing with this person might help you greatly, greatly, I say. They will give you more idea or even multiply to your own idea. Or you can help the person also by discussing your saving ability to the person. Um, also, you need to plan how you can motivate each other in a relationship. It's not just about saving. Yeah, discuss to her the importance of saving motivator. Motivator how to save your ability of saving in if you save together or if she learns to save what the important of it just just do something that can motivate her to inspire, inspire her to be a saving person i mean influence her with your ability with your experience or discuss plan ways there are many ways you can inspire her to save finally finally Defeat the mentality of poverty. Defeat the mentality of poverty. So many people just believe in poverty. No. Go out. Find ways. Do something. Do something. Yes, go out. There are a lot of things out there. Just do research. 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 In, yeah. The mentality of poverty definitely is what it's killing most people all over the world and poor and poor what's that you're not poor it's just a time a matter of time you just are uh, back up for now yeah but if you do something go out try different stuff i believe i am bet you mentality of poverty we don't have to tolerate it at all so thank you very much i hope you take these few tips into consideration and they'll create impact in your life so quickly i go through this step i start from the bottom defeat the power defeat the poverty mentality plan how you can motivate each other in a relationship discuss your saving ability with your partner treat yourself make use of readable materials research and prayer months monitor your finance regularly minimize your spendable income keep your pockets small stay away from debt learn to do business seek for multiple streams of income invest your time and effort be wise and invest in god's house tighten an investment think about multiple think about multiplying your savings develop a saving mindset pass your spending test that is do i need it what is important can it wait yeah if you answer this question you can pass your spending test Avoid spending unnecessarily, prioritize your spending, delay your gratification. Thanks very much for listening. If you like this video, just click or you subscribe to my channel. You can also add me on Facebook at Andrew Steven Boima or on Instagram, Andrew Steven Boima as well, Twitter, Boima Andrew, and YouTube, Andrew Steven Boima. Thank you very much. Bless.